It's been years since you could buy a new car in the U.S. without stability control. Dual front airbags have been required on cars here since 96. And yet there are places in the world right now where new 2015s are rolling out of the showroom without a single airbag or stability control or even much of a body structure. Look at how this Indian market dots and go fails in a crash test. The main impact absorbing structure seems to be the driver. The Dacia Sandero sold in Europe gets a four star rating. A version sold in Brazil last model year got a one star rating. As you can imagine, they improved it after that. Because nothing chases dangerous cars out of the marketplace faster than miserable crash ratings. But who is minding the store globally? Enter Global NCAP, Global New Car Assessment Program. The idea is to stitch together crash testing programs in different regions around the world into one global standard to get automakers to basically have no excuse for offering less safe cars. Europe already has Euro NCAP. Australia and New Zealand have NCAP. There's Latin NCAP, China's C NCAP, and Bharat NCAP under consideration in India. But a true global standard will be sought at a major auto safety conference in Brazil this November, when the UN will push for global NCAP. That means all cars worldwide would have common passenger cell strength standards, common pedestrian impact protection standards, and electronic stability control. Of course, the big problem here is cost. That Datsun Go we saw earlier costs like 6,100 bucks. A Tata Nano is under 3,000. Some of the safety gear in American cars cost more than that, never mind the price of the car. So we'll watch with keen interest how they sort out that hurdle, broach that cost gap at the conference in Brazil. In the meantime, whatever you drive, it pays to double check that it's got good crash test safety ratings. More realities of modern driving revealed now at CNETOnCars.com. Click on Smarter Driver. 